it's funny I've mentioned in other videos about how the bike is a conversation piece um, the Indians and uh, I got one compliment and then one uh, conversation just while I was standing checking my phone and messages and getting this heated gear on people commenting about how the bike looked really really good say I didn't think I did anything wrong but police officer using his lights no siren to run the light and not doing it right there it's kind of interesting not doing it there when I wear this GoPro camera on this helmet the way I have it mounted I feel like it's a lot lower than the other one I have to like look at the footage and compare if somebody mentioned uh, sagebrush designs for the uh, closeouts I looked at them I've bought from them in the past on my other bikes uh, they made a uh, custom well custom because they make it but tank uh, bag for my scout and um, it was pretty good um, I ended up uh, selling it and um, but it was it was really good while I had that bike and then um, I think the same person also mentioned the JEC custom uh, customs fork uh, wind flaring things. I have that on my Indian Super Chief. I ordered that from them. I have not gotten around to putting it on this bike or ordering. One thing I'm curious is if you have to take the nasal off to get to install that on this bike. If you do it decreases my interest a little just because it's such a hassle putting this all back together but I, I may end up looking at that you can see from those flags the wind is really blowing but I'm not really feeling it like I was the other day the other day was wild and I'm also only going in about 45 not 70 that I was doing the other day. There's another rider. I think I've seen that guy a number of times as we cross on the same road. Police are sneaky here. They sit right there. Now why didn't that guy give me a warning? Now, that's kind of dirty. Not to give a fellow rider a warning that there was a police officer sitting right there. I was just going to say, the police are kind of dirty to me there. Because if you go to pass, you're going down a hill. You almost have to speed to get around somebody. Uh, even if they're going under the speed limit, you probably got to pick it up. And then they give people tickets right there for speeding. And you're going down a hill anyway. Oh, one thing I was going to mention is that I ordered the Indian brand reduced reach side stand. And, you know, I, I read some other comments from people that kind of describe my experience. I feel like I really have to scoot forward, almost sitting on the tank in order for my shorter legs to reach the kickstand and it's like a two three part process each time I put the stand up and down the Indian brand reduced reach uh, gets kind of mixed reviews from what I saw um, some people said it definitely helped them and other people like it made no difference and I think it's pretty much the same stand except they add a little piece on the end that lets you get a better foothold on it. Um, I've ordered it. It's not here yet. Uh, I've wimped out on the past few projects and let the guy I found handle this stuff for me. 
even projects I felt like I knew how to handle but just didn't want to bother with so that I could focus on other things. And uh, on this one, uh, the challenging part from what I've read is getting the spring back on. And somebody in a comment on a forum I read said that they learned to put washers or dimes in between the coils so that it wouldn't expand when extended. I think that's, I, I took a screenshot of it. Of course, that's one of those projects that if you mess up and you can't get it back on, taking it somewhere else becomes a real challenge because you can't park it. <laughs> 